This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Wadash. Yahweh is the most high God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world Italy calls Jesus the Christ. And the Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. And I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well through the Spirit, teaching this word and believing this word, but one that they continue to endure and be sincere. And a mighty shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered four corners of the earth. In the same spirit, teaching this word and believing this word, Lord willing that they endure and be sincere. And shalom to the aquatium that are believers of the faith, Lord willing that they continue to pursue their lot with his being a loving and silent and virtuous wife, and Lord willing to most have mercy on the other brothers and sisters that's not in the faith. I keep hearing the word prepare, listening to the brothers in New York, listen to a few vi videos, and brothers kept bringing up the word prepare. So it had me think of some scriptures, and the title of this walk and talk is be prepared for a particular end, you know, because it's going to be a particular end, especially for the elect. It's going to be a particular end and a strange salvation for the two thirds is going to be a particular end. Right. But it's going to be it's going to be a uh, a pain and an agony to the two thirds. Right. And the other nations, too. Right. So before I bring out the little precepts that I have prepared for this lesson, um, going to the word prepare, right? And uh, to on the website homology uh, online, right? It says set in order or readiness of a particular end, a back formation from preparation in part from old French prepare, right? And in the Latin, it goes into to make ready beforehand, right? So this is what. The men of the Lord, when we're prophesying or teaching his word, it's supposed to have you prepare yourself beforehand, right? For that particular end, you know? And it's, it's levels to the understanding of the Lord in different lessons, right? And we can go into prophecies. We can go into destruction. We can go into certain events that's going to take place. But I want to deal with the patience. I want to deal with the being tried, right? So let's get into these uh, precepts. So uh, I go back into work. This is a classic. This is a uh, Sirach Ecclesiasticus. Chapter two in verse one to six, it says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right. That's the if this lesson is about uh, 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 be prepared, you know, you're preparing yourself for the temptation that's going to take place. You go to Revelations 3 and 10, you know that our temptation, right? The MOTB, which is a physical mark in order for you to be part of society and buy and sell. Well, God, let's say if you don't believe it or if you do, you're, you're being told this. Nobody can really say, uh, uh, make an excuse. Oh, I didn't know, you know? The men of the Lord are truly teaching it. Verse 2, it says, Set thy heart aright, your mind, and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Right? Even on this little side that we have right here, right? We're going through certain trials, right? Certain events in your life, work, relationship, whatever little problems it can be, health, right? House problems, right? Like whatever going on with your house, your lights not working. Those are little trials to to see if you're going to endure what are you going to do there's going to be a chain and reaction and then you your anger take you away from uh being in the spirit right so you're going to constantly endure and you're not going to make no haste in a time of trouble right really going to run to the lord it says cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end right because you want to be increased in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Shai, but you want to increase in his faith. Faith. Increase in faith because that faith is what's going to help us push and endure. 
right? Verse 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. That big low estate, even though we're, Israel is in a low estate, you know, the ones that are simple, right? Living a simple life. But that real low estate is when this system shut down and you can't use a uh, uh, flex the money that you got. You know, you got to really be a part of this new system, this new world. Right. That's going to be, be that's going to be brought. That's going to be a person brought to a low estate. Salaki. Right. Or even uh, when you go to uh, second Ezra 16 chapter around, I think, the 40 or 45th uh, verse where it says you're going to be pilgrims on the earth. Right. Verse uh, five, it says, for gold is tried in a fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. It's uh, verse six. Believe in him and he will help thee in order thy way are right and trust in him. Right. If we continue to trust in Yahweh by Shema Shai, we're going to understand the truth. This is how you're going to be able to understand the breakdowns. Right. The, 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 the prophecies, the parables, the dark sayings. Right. The more you trust in him, the more you're occupied in his faith. The more he's going to increase you in the spirit, right? Going to Baruch, the fourth chapter, verse 25, it says, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. It's the Yahweh Bashim Shai put this upon us, man, right? But for the elect, the Lord would never put you in something you can't handle. So everything we got on this side from the bad things that you look at, the good things, were really the bad things, right? Because you, uh, through the spirit, you're building tough skin. The Lord is not going to put you in something you can't handle. That's why everybody has a certain lot or a certain load that the Lord have given them because he knows that you can endure it. It says, for thy enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Right. You should be patient for this, but you should put you should be preparing for it, like having a desire. Think upon the kingdom. Right. Can't always just think about here. I always think about my kingdom, my household, how many kids I'm going to have, my, my, my women. Right. My son, my, my sons. Right. Anything that I lose on this side, getting double and enjoying it. Right. And seeing my brothers happy and enjoying it. I'm thinking about those things. I can only think about it as much because, you know. Uh, we in this captivity, so your mind can't even can't even fathom the kingdom as much, right? Fathom the beauty of it. Romans chapter five, in verse three, it says, "And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, right? So the tribulations that Yahweh by Shem Al Shai is is allowing his children to go through." Right. This is going to uh, uh, build our patience. Right. This tribulation work of patience. Right. Every tribulation is 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 building even more. You know, we will like, man, Lord, man, please destroy this place. But guess what? You have another day to go to work. You have another day in this system. Right. But each situation you go through is giving you tougher skin in the spirit. Right. James chapter one. In verse 12, it says, blesses the man that endured temptation, right? That man is blessed that endured temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord Yahweh Shem al Shai have promised to them that love him. And if you love the Lord, you're going to be doing his ways. First John 3 and 18, which that love is going into a deed and in truth. Your actions, you know, that truth, right? You, you, you bearing, you bearing that cross, right? You're denying yourself. Right, you're trying to be an example of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai on the earth. Right now, first Peter chapter 1, verse 7, it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and glory and honor at the preparing of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right, you have to be you have to be like gold, right. You have to be like gold in order to be like gold. You have to be tried through the fire. That fire is the the, the, the tribulation, right? Because with the Lord it comes long suffering. To get the kingdom comes long suffering, right? Uh, I got to read this. I'm going to read this in the KJV and in uh, GNT, I believe. I believe this is the GNT, right? It says... Um, 
No, the NLT, Salaki. It's first Peter. First Peter four and twelve. First Peter four and twelve. KJV first, it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fairy trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. In the NLT, dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad for these trials make you partners with Hamashiach in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. You get to rejoice, right? What is that uh, verse? Um, no. This is uh, Luke chapter 9, verse 23, right? Because uh, the men, we're supposed to lay ourselves down like Yahweh Shai. So you're going to get that suffering too, especially uh, uh, holding on to the name and the teachings of the Lord and the faith. This is Luke chapter 9, verse 23. In the KJV, it says, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. Right? Because what comes with that cross? Right? The, the persecution, the affliction, right? The tribulations, the suffering, you know? You, you holding strong on the actual name of the Lord. You teaching in the name of the Lord. You praying in the name of the Lord. You giving, you exalting the name of the Lord through his son, you know? Eventually, you're going to have more brothers and sisters like, oh, he got many names. Oh, you brothers, you, oh, you, you making the name a doctrine. You want to hear people uh, uh, coming at you for standing bold as a lion for the name and the truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Acts the fifth chapter, Acts chapter three. We have many examples of the true men of the Lord uh, uh, standing strong, ten toes down, unmovable in the name of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. Zechariah chapter 13 in verse 9, a classic. This is this is that particular end. It says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. What is his name? Why wouldn't he say Lord, uh, which is a substitute name, right? Because we're gonna the these children is gonna wake up and 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 come and find the true name of the Lord, which leads you back to the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient tongue, right? The original tongue of the Hebrew Israelites. And you're going to call on that name. It says, and I will hear them, right? He's going to hear you say his name, let alone the Lord is watching your heart, right? Because he know how, what you're going to do, how you're going to move and how you think. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord Yahweh Shemar Shai is my power. Before the Lord was calling us not his people in Hosea the, the first chapter. But in the same land, even where these nations say that we're not the people of the Lord, we're not the Jews, we're not the Israelites. In this same place, is we're going to be known that we are the children of the Lord, right? Going, Starting with the elect and even you two-thirds that die, right? You're going to know that, um, that, 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 that you didn't choose that you didn't choose the right direction, you know? But it was really the Lord that uh, let you fall into your own delusion, right? Now, going to Acts 14, 22, it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting, right, encouraging them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God, right? That's how you're going to get in the kingdom, through tribulation, through long suffering on this side, right? You got to feel people are coming against you because you're teaching the name of the Lord. People are going to look at the at the elect like, oh, yo, they think they better than us. Or it's just going to be the same spirit as old, right? Don't teach in that name. You have people bumping up against you. You're going to have people with mad contention, right? You, you might have that already on your videos, right? But it's going to get even worse, right? That's why prepare for the worst, right? Second Peter chapter three, verse nine, it says the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, is not slack concerning his promise. Even though we sit here like, man, the Lord taking long. That's what a lot of people be saying. 
but he's not. He's working on his time, not our time. He never early, never late. He's always on time. As sun men count slackness, but as long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. What's that one long suffering we really dealing with? Being in this fucking flesh, you know, you know, getting sick, uh, um, all other problems, the emotions and feelings that you think, overthinking, then it comes to negativity, messing up relationship, messing up friendships, right? But then we have other long suffering dealing with these heathens, right? How they look at you, how they talk to you at work, right? Let alone being in this captivity. This is not good for, for our bodies, man. Standing on concrete all day, back hurting, you know, getting the end of the stick, eating GMO foods 24 seven, you know? think you doing something because you eating you a late night snack right so the uh, verse 10 it says but the day of the lord yahweh shemal shai will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up right we're a part of that work right the men and the women and the children right of the nation of israel and all these other nations we're we're work too you know that's why every day you're working on your faith because it's a working progress you're working on your attitude is a work in progress all your material uh materialistic things those those are those are elements they're going to be destroyed you know and anybody that's not of the children of israel and not uh 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 redeemed to be of the elect on this side you're gonna be fucking destroyed man excuse my language you know but every lesson that brothers do this is not for somebody that's in their emotion and feelings this is for the brothers and sisters that is sincere and that's tired man you know lord willing this was edifying this was a little quick little uh jab on being being prepared for a, a particular end, a particular end. I want this end to happen, man, you know? So I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the one true power. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Wadash, you know? And Yahweh is the most high God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. And I truly believe in this name, right? And double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, low willing that they continue to endure and be sincere. And a mighty shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered four corners of the earth, teaching this word and believing this word, low willing that they continue to be diligent and sincere for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, Lucky, let me see something. And uh, Shalom to the Aquatium that are believers of the faith, Lord willing that they continue to pursue their lot, which is being a loving and silent and virtuous wife. And with that, Shalom, Shalom, and Lord willing, most have mercy on the other brothers and sisters. Now.